Hi friends! Today we're going to go over the books that I had as backlist priorities from last year. <laughs> So last year at the beginning of 2020 I made a list of I think 20 books that I wanted to prioritize that were on my backlist TBR shelves and I read the majority of those and we're going to go over and I will let you know if I read it if I didn't and what my rating was. So the first book is one that I did not read and that is Not Now Not Ever by Lily Anderson. I just never got around to this one. It wasn't a contemporary that I was feeling at a time so uh, still on the list still hoping to read it hopefully soon. Next was Black Ice Burning by A.R. Kaler. This is the third and final book in the Pale Queen Rising series and I did read this and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I always forget to mention this. I will be linking in the description box below all of my reviews for these books on Goodreads because I read a lot of them at the beginning of last year and I don't really remember what my thoughts were so if you want to know more of my in detail thoughts you can check out the description box down below. We then have Hero for Wandla by Tony Dieterlizzi and I did read this and I actually read the third book as well and I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Next was Heartless by Marissa Meyer and I did not get around to this one but would still like to get to this one though. Then we have Renegades by Marissa Meyer and I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Really enjoyed it. If We Were Villains by ML Rio. I did read this and I gave it a 4.25 out of 5 stars. Next we have The Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. I had read book one. I'm now up to book five of 15 and I rated all of them between three and four stars just depending on which book I read. Ghost of the Shadow Market by Cassie Clare, uh, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, Robin Wasserman. I gave this a four out of five stars. Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. I read both this and its sequel and I gave this a 4.25 out of five stars. These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling and once again I read both this and the sequel this year and I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Next is Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the fourth and final book in the Stalking Jack the River series and I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan. This is the fifth and final book in the Trials of Apollo series and I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. That's a lie. 4.75 out of 5. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is the first book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. This used to be called the Tr Grisha trilogy but I think they changed it because it's now known as the Grisha verse. I don't really know. I gave this a 4.25 out of 5 stars and I have read the second book already as well. The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. This is the third and final book in the Remnant Chronicles and I gave this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. A Madness So Discreet by Mendy McGinnis. I gave this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I have not got to this one yet. Still interested, just haven't picked it up. The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. The Romance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars and I have since read its sequel as well. Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibber. I gave this a 4.75 out of 5 stars and I've also read this one's sequel since then as well. And the final book on this list, In a Mirror by Emily Bourne, who is a fellow author to Bourne. I will link her in the description box below and I gave this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. So those were the 20 books that were on my backlist priorities for 2020. I will have a video coming up that will be my backlist priorities for 2021 so look out for that coming up in the future. If you've read any of these, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or things you would like to discuss, please hit me up in the comment section down below. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week, so if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!